Welcome back to This Week at ISU. I'm your host, Whitney Millbrooks. This week, we have The Bow Connections, A Coming Out Party, and more. This Week at ISU starts right now. Build and Tech Career Expo was in the Holman Center, open to all majors. Many career opportunities were available and employers were present for connecting. Students could explore careers, internships in the technology, construction, and more. Fall in Love with Yourself was held in the Linda Center for students to stop by. Attendees could enjoy a break and decorate pumpkins as well as enjoy fall treats. Boat Connections was an event hosted by Women in Business for CODA. CODA is a shelter to aid in domestic abuse victims and is a resource for men, women, and children. Those who attended made tie blankets to donate. What is the event here today? So today we have Bold Connections with uh, Enterprise where we're making tie blankets to donate to CODA. What is Women in Business and Enterprise? So Women in Business is an organization here in the Scott College of Business and it's really about empowering the females of the college and providing like an awesome neat space that they get to interact with one another, lift each other up, and just have a good time. And Enterprise, uh, we're most well known for Enterprise Rent-A-Car, where we're a rental car company, uh, but we're owned by Enterprise Mobility, which is a total transportation solution. We have a ton of different business lines, and I'm a recruiter for the management training program. Why did you decide to pick CODA? So we took some time to think about you know, what organization we wanted to contribute to. And the mission of Women in Business this year is it has a focus on philanthropy. So we chose CODA because it aligns with uh, the mission of Women in Business, but also I've seen firsthand what CODA can do. While I was a student at Indiana State, I did a project with uh, that organization. So seeing how they impact our community, we just wanted to provide a little piece of that. Indiana State Fright Night invited Broadway singers to perform with the spooky, supernatural, sci-fi, and horror themes. They also provided the audience with stories of their personal experiences. There was a costume contest to follow. Timmy Global Health Hot Sauce Challenge was in competition for charity. Participants had five minutes per wing and 10 wings to eat total. All the proceeds were donated to Timmy Global Health. A coming out party was held by Multicultural Services and programs for a celebration of National Coming Out Day. There were activities to participate in, snacks to enjoy, and an afternoon of socialization. What we're hosting today is our coming out day. So coming out day happens every single year and um, it happens on October 11th. Um, but this year, that's over fall break. So we decided to host it today, October 9th, um, that, or the Wednesday right before. And so this is just a way to like get to know some different queer people around campus, be an like inclusive space for anyone who wants to be here. Um, we have a bunch of different crafts that people can do uh, where people can like sign their name on a pride flag. They can um, draw or write their sexuality or gender. So it's just like an abstract way of describing who they are. We have cookie decorating. Uh, we're gonna be playing a game in a little bit. So it's just different ways to connect with people um, and have that safe space for everyone. Now let's take a look at Indiana State Info and what opportunities the campus has to offer. Here's Abby Carter with Health Minute. Welcome back to Health Minute. I'm Abby Carter. This week we are discussing domestic abuse. October is Domestic Abuse Awareness Month. Domestic abuse is defined as a pattern of behavior in any relationship that is used to gain or maintain power and control over an intimate partner. 
Domestic abuse is all about control and power and can take many forms, like sexual abuse, financial abuse, sexism, emotional abuse, immigration status, spiritual abuse, technical abuse, physical abuse, and the use of children. While some of these forms you may have heard of, like sexual, emotional, and physical abuse, let's go over the more uncommon forms you may not have heard about. Financial abuse is gaining control by using tactics to conceal information, limit the victim's access to assets, or reduce accessibility to family finances. When it comes to abuse through immigration status, the abuser may misuse the immigration process to further abuse their non-citizen family members by threatening to withhold or withdraw the petition to control, coerce, and intimidate them. Spiritual abuse happens when someone uses spiritual or religious beliefs to hurt, scare, or control you. This can involve someone forcing you or your children to participate in spiritual or religious practices when you do not want to. This can also be in the form of making you feel guilty for not being holy in the eyes of your religion. Technical abuse involves the use of technology as a means to coerce, stalk, or harass another person. This type of abuse has increased 650% in the last five years. If you are ever in a position of domestic abuse and need to report it here on campus, you can go to www.indstate.edu slash equal opportunity dash title IX. Here it will walk you through the process and get you the help you need. Thank you for joining us and check back next week for more healthy tips and tricks. Back to you, Whitney. Now over to Justin Holland with the weather. Thanks, Whitney. This week, temperatures will rise into the high 70s and drop into the 30s in the mornings and evenings. For the rest of the week, you can expect sunny skies with light clouds. Make sure to dress warm for the first part of the week with temperatures only reaching into the 60s. That's all I have for you this week, Sycamores. Back to you in the studio. That's all the time we have this week. If you would like to get involved with Sycamore Video, or if you have any events that you would like for us to cover, send us an email at isu-sycamorevideo at indstate.edu. Check, check us out on our Facebook page at Sycamore Video ISU Student Media, or Sycamore Video on YouTube. See you next week, Sycamores.